put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. But hey, if the video is just too long for you to watch, chances are I recorded a shorter version and the link will be in the description box. It's not an inferior video, it's merely a Cliff's Notes version of this very video. Boo Girl Series Review a young woman turned part cyborg is sent back in time by her father, Peter Davies, who shows quite clearly that there's more to him than portraying Count Vile, as she has to stop this virus called the host from taking over humanity. So yeah, that's, you know, it's not only the Terminator. However, she is sent to a slightly wrong time, so when she gets there, her mission is a bit larger than she anticipated. This is one of the earliest, as far as I understand, of Ed Glazer's projects to, you know, be you know, readily available to for just viewing. Again, this is free, like Press Start Adventures. And you can somewhat see that it is an early effort. I will get into why in a bit. But first I should say, like, I'd say just about everything else that you see from it, Glazer, this is just a huge love letter to the things he really enjoys, you know. This is one of the few that doesn't have ninjas in it. Basically, every 80s and 90s action flick are in here in one way or the other, you know. Already, The Terminator. Then you have this kind of, you know, alien invasion and this virus thing going on and just the the stereotypes that he fits in and you know the great thing is that it's not so much straight parody it's i don't know it's maybe pastiche is the word it's like he it's it's part tribute to them you know he he loves these things and you know these projects are homages to that the entire show consists of 10 episodes running roughly 3 minutes each. So 30 minutes, and that's including credits, 30 minutes total. And it does present a full story in that amount of time. So it's obviously quite concise in that way. Excuse me. And each episode also, with, with this being, you know, episodes, it actually allows for, you know, sort of, sort of leaps, excuse me, between the episodes in, you know, time and location, well not leaps, but, you know, changes certainly, in that pretty much, well, every single episode, pretty much every single episode, you have some you know, this young woman named Huntress, or codenamed, is in a new place and, you know, chasing a new, you know, someone new who's been infected by the host. So, you know, it's never boring. It never gets to be dull or the same kind of thing, really. There are, you know, pretty much every episode has at least one new location as well as you know new actors the, the there is of course a bit of exposition with 
you know, it, it is one of the quickest ways to set up story and deliver, you know, pivotal, critical bits of information. So, there is a bunch of exposition, though at one point Huntress actually does, you know, call attention to that as well, as she tells one of her foes, you talk too much. Now, there are a few twists and turns in the story to, you know, keep it nicely interesting. The main... what, what the series mainly is, I would say. Although there, there is as well, there, there is some tension and at times, you know, Huntress, the, her mission might very much be in danger. Although, in the end, she is, this does have a bit of problem with, perhaps because of time constraints, that Huntress does end up seeming somewhat invincible. You know, there is not a huge sense of danger, although it is very enjoyable to watch. Now, anyway, what this mainly is, is an action flick, sort of, with a lot of physical fighting, martial arts fighting. And again, you know, if you watch either of the Press Start movies, you know, the, the choreography is great. You know, it's it can sometimes be somewhat simple moves, maybe especially in this one, but it's it's fun, it's fast paced, and yeah, if you if you enjoy martial arts fighting, you're really gonna enjoy that aspect of it. And yeah, there's pretty much a fight per episode. Now, the production value is pretty good. But again, you can tell that this is an early at Glazer effort, and he definitely has learned from his mistakes. You know, Press Start 1 is even better than this, and Press Start 2 is far superior to both of you know, both this and the first Press Start. This, you know, it's, it's filmed and edited. I'd say especially the editing is quite good. The editing is probably the best aspect of this as far as production value. And the locations are also, you know, quite nice and very much add to it. You know, again, this never gets to be dull or the same kind of thing. Now, filming is not bad, but it's also just not terribly interesting a lot of the time. There are actually, you know, it's, it's, Things like the fights, especially, are just, they're, they're covered nicely enough, but it's not terribly, like, compelling as far as, you know, the, the way it's filmed. The, the fights themselves are fun, but when this sets up a new location or is building up, like, atmosphere or tension, it actually does really well. You know, that is the best camera work in this. The lighting is sadly probably the worst aspect as far as the, the execution of this with at times very obvious lighting. Like the, there's this one bit where the I think it's, it, Huntress has this blue light, this you know, the cold color light and her enemy, one of the host agents, has this very red light, you know, kind of evil and you know, ominous. And it's not only extremely obvious, like it, it draws too much attention to itself, but it actually also, the, the color kind of bleeds into, you know, I don't remember if it's exactly the background or something, but it just, it doesn't feel like, you know, it. It, it adds some to the mood, yes, but it also distracts somewhat. It feels produced, you know, it feels put together, which, you know, the lighting is something that should never draw attention to itself in filmmaking, you know, except to, you know, people who actually make films so they can say, ah, I see what you did there. 
dialogue is pretty good. Uh, there is, you know, it's it's not repetitive and, you know, in spite of all the exposition that is, you know, necessary to forward the story. Because, you know, among all the fighting, there really is story here, you know, and every episode, I mean, I said before that every episode has a fight. There's more to it than the fight. You know, every episode also forwards the story in some way. And the resolution at the end is pretty good if the final, very final bit is maybe slightly anticlimactic. But I think I understand why they, why they did what they did. Part of it is budget constraints. The effects are actually also pretty good. There's not a huge amount of visual effects, but they're they're quite good. Now, the yes, the the dialogue, the acting is pretty good. It's nothing Oscar worthy, but it's perfectly passable. And you know the characters and such are enjoyable enough and you do get a sort of sense of you know it, it really is not just the same thing over and over you know and, and like I said you know the there's a fight each episode but it it is sometimes with very different people there's one where she fights this pro boxer and there's you know at, at one point she goes up against I think just a like a businessman who you know not much of a fight there, but still you know attention. And there's an ep episode literally called Sorority Girls, which features a an assault rifle wielding bikini clad sorority girl fighting huntress. That's just, that that spells fun right there, you know. And it's actually also slightly on the, you know, I don't know, TNA might not quite be the, the term, but yeah, it does have some, you know, Huntress, Huntress herself is, you know, has bare legs and yeah, she doesn't wear that much. And there are a couple of instances of that. I think that pretty well covers it, but yeah, definitely fun to check out, and you know, well worth the half hour. You might want to space out the episodes. I'm not sure how well, how how much. I don't know, I, I can imagine that you know, watching the full half hour in a row might be a little much, but it is it is episodical, so you know, yeah. But definitely one to check out if you're at all into martial arts and this kind of sci-fi action flick of the 80s and 90s homage. And if you know if you enjoy Ed Glazer's stuff that came out slightly more sexual than I intended it to be, but only slightly. But yes, this, you know, definitely check it out, you know, as there's, you know, again, it's free. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.